if you need help building your team or selling your coins make sure you head on over to cheapmaticcoins.com for the cheapest prices fast delivery and 24-hour customer support and use code wolf for 15 percent off yo what's up everybody it's king wolf welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to show you guys two plays out of the dallas cowboys playbook that you can blend in with a run scheme if you want man lab this yourself i'm going to show you the pass plays and then you can run like the rpos i'll throw an rpo for this video right here show you guys how to run it properly because people do run they don't know when to run rpos they don't know how to run rpos and i'm going to show that to you guys in this video after we go over the two plays now with the dallas cowboys playbook make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more content also become a member of the wolf pack there's also i just dropped the defensive ebook for you guys to download in the member section i know some of you are having trouble with the link i don't know what's going on till i find an easier way to deliver ebooks i have to post those downloadable links in the community section so i'm working on it i'm working on all that for you guys but the ps4 tournament will be saturday and we're aiming for 1 p.m central time all right we need we need at least one million likes on this bro i'm telling you guys right now now the first one i'm gonna show you is specifically for cover four drop and we're gonna be in the single back doubles now you can make adjustments to wherever you want but for the cover four beater i'm gonna go ahead and just leave cooper you can put austin if you want i guess i can run austin it's just deep route running matters on on deep routes you know deep post routes those uh deep route running ratings do matter but we can try with Tavon austin i really didn't lab it with Tavon austin really didn't need to because uh cooper was getting open so if we see a problem that he's not getting open in this play then we'll just put cooper back and i know he's going to be open but i want to see the separation now the name of the play is going to be the z post y out okay now people like to run cover four drop whenever uh you're coming out in this kind of formation because they think you're going to run the ball so cover four drop helps them stop uh the run but what you're going to be doing here is you're essentially going to be tricking them into thinking that you're running and you're going to be throwing this over the cover four shell now all we're going to do is put y on a drag you can do whatever you want with rb and you know in cover four drop is three man rush you have a lot of time to get plays like this off i'm telling you guys right now as i snap the ball i'll be looking for the x route which is austin going over those blues once he crosses that second blue that's when i throw the ball so right there he still like I said, I think Amari Cooper, it just it just feels easier because of his deep route running. Now, Trayvon Austin is only like one tick higher as far as speed. I think he's 94 and Amari's 93, something like that. Oh, right here, he does get pretty good separation. Uh, but you can see, who is that? McCordy catching him, bro. McCordy's kind of catching him in the back, that backfield. So I want to say Austin is 94 speed. Let me just run this over and over so you guys can see. You probably want to be on the right hash to throw this. So your windup isn't as bad you know what i'm saying but you could throw that over the cover four shell now if you have like the tyreek hill bro then it's i mean you know you know how it goes in mutt you got the fast wide receiver pretty much nothing anyone's gonna do so why on a on a drag like this against cover four drop and it can be against the dollar uh the big dime 146 it can be against the dollar cover four drop it doesn't matter uh, it still works the same because those blues on the right side they don't react to the ball bro like they don't react i mean to the actual route so they stay low and then you take advantage of that as you can see right there now let's talk about the cover three beating version now remember i'm on the left hash doing the cover four for the cover three play that we're, i'm going to show you guys this one's going to be out of i can find it here i think it's wide trips single back wide trips the name of the play bro i already forgot the name of this play it is the PA cross-up. It's got to be the PA cross-up. Let me just make sure because I, I, I remember play art. And it, yeah, it's the PA cross-up. Okay, so PA cross-up, cover three. Just like this. Random cover three. And then we'll play pass commit and all that. Now, remember, you want to be on the... Like, if you're on the right hash, you run the play the way it is. If you're on the left hash, you flip the play. So I'm running the play the way it is, but I'm going to be on this hash. Now, what you want to do is you want to motion... You're tied in over. I'm going to go ahead and put clouds and play the pass again. Okay. Then you're going to put A on a streak. Now, what happened right there was as we moved Witten over, our wide receiver came in closer. Now, I recommend this because the, the tight end on the left side will contain the blue better, the middle blue, better than if you left him in and motion the wide receiver in. You know what I'm saying? And then all we're going to do is drag B. And this is our look for cover three. You're going to wait till he gets to the middle of that middle blue. You're going to spot that middle blue. Right when he gets to that middle blue, you lead pass it to the right and throw it. Now, this is play action. 
I don't need to tell you guys. I'm going to go ahead and click off the guy that's like on a blitz. I already told you guys in previous videos, I don't like play action. So you can keep play action or you can cancel it. Now, if you're running out of this formation, you probably want to keep it. But I'm telling you guys, I don't really don't like play action, bro. So right here, once he crosses that blue, I just throw this again. Cooper wide open for the TD. Let's go ahead and run this a couple times so you guys can see it happening over and over. We're going to shade over the top, pass commit, all those things. Now, what I will do is I'll show you guys how to stop things like this, okay? Because people don't know how to stop it. I know how to stop it. Some people don't. I'll just show you a simple way of doing it. Sometimes it don't work. Depends on the formation. Like tight offset, tight end. You could put quarters. You could put. You could play sticks. You could do all that, and it still won't stop that cover three beater. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. You guys want to see that video? I'll, I'll go ahead and post it. So right here, once he crosses that, oh, he got trapped. Now that's something that you can't. You can't control. You can't control things like that when wide receivers are bumping into each other. You just can't control it. It happens, part of the game. The game is very fluky, so you have to be careful. It is very, very fluky. So as long as you make these adjustments, you'll give yourself the best chance, like right here, just completely. He missed the ball. Now, if that's Drew Brees or Tom Brady, they're hitting somebody in the stands, bro. For some odd reason, they messed them up in this game. I don't know why De Dak Prescott's a better quarterback than, than those guys in this game. It is, it is mind boggling. So motioning that tight end over to the left, right, and then dragging B is your setup. Okay, keep the play action, but like right here, look, I'm scared, bro. Crosses that blue, I get enough space. Another TD. So you're seeing what's you're seeing what's going on. It, it's an awesome play. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a, throw a little bonus for you guys, man. And I'll do this repetitively in certain videos because people have trouble throwing RPOs. They don't know when to throw RPOs. I'm gonna teach you guys something. Okay. As you can see, this just over and over against cover three. Now. One more play. I might as well just throw this in there as well because you are going to be using doubles. I think personally that the best single back doubles formation is going to be out of the Buccaneers playbook. So if you're in the video this long and you want to know who had the best singles, singles doubles, it's probably going to be the Buccaneers. Fade smash. I've shown you guys this concept right here against cover two. So someone running cover two defense on you. We'll just run random cover two. Uh, all we're going to do is motion the tight end over. Okay, now there's two ways you can run this. A on a streak, okay? And just leave X where he's at. That's that's the first variation. You can even drag B or you know what? Just streak B. Just like this because what we're essentially doing is we're looking for this guy over here, okay? So you can run that against cover two, very simple. You see that working really well. Um, what I, I like to do is I just motion the tight end over because it brings the wide receiver in. Because if you motion the wide receiver in, he won't stop. He'll go to the other side of the field and you actually need him in that position to make, to make this play. Now, if that blue, like he's doing right there, he's gravitating, look at the A route, okay? Now, where that becomes a problem is if they put a middle a middle blue up there. If they put a middle blue up there, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. So you can also probably snap the ball. You could drag the tight end, streak A, bring this guy in, maybe snap the ball. No, you can't, yeah, no, you can't. It's, it takes too long. So. We still kind of have space, but not really. It doesn't create the space you need like the tight end gives you because the tight end on the streak on the left side will give you that space. Reason being is the blue has to respect both routes. So here we go again. I can throw this now. You see what I'm saying? He has to respect that tight end and his streak. And that's why we're doing We're manipulating the defense to do it. Now let's go back to that cover three beater. I'm going to show you guys uh, how, how you can stop pretty much every single cover three beater in the game. Just a little extra tip for you guys that, that uh, we've stuck around this long on the video. So PA slot cross, wait, no, that's not it. PA cross up. And in cover three, all we're gonna do is shade over the top, okay? Pass commit and play sticks, Y or triangle, LB or L1 if you're on PlayStation, sticks. Now, as I try to run this cover three beater, the way I was setting it up, that blue should back up anyway. But like I said, some formations like tight offset tight end, they won't. Ooh, that one didn't either. So this formation does beat sticks as well. Now, if someone's running a lot of three, four out on you and they're pitching linebackers and base aligning, you can run. Let me show you guys what I mean real quick. I'm gonna show you guys how to throw RPOs against like the three, four odd. So let's say they're running cover four drop, right? Let me just show you guys something. RPOs work very well. I think we have one in doubles, don't we? we? Got the bubble 
power alert bubble. Let's see if the other formation had a better one that I was using right now. Wide trips. This one right here, the zone weak bubble, probably, probably a lot better. Zone weak alert bubble. Now against the base aligned, uh, a, a stock defense. So let's say he plays clouds, right? And it looks like this, right? And you see those linebackers, are, you know, it's not a base aligned defense. You can't throw the RPO. Let me show you guys what I mean. Okay, well, you can probably throw this one because the way he's getting open, this is, unless maybe I flip the play. I, I don't think that matters. Maybe we could pass commit. I think you got to pass commit against the RPO for it to actually be stopped. Let's see again. Yeah, okay, yeah, pass committing. So pass committing in a cover four drop without base aligning is going to stop that RPO. So someone throwing some RPOs against you, you come out cover four drop, do not base align and pass commit. Simple as that. Pretty much locking down the RPOs on this side. Boom. Now the issue becomes when you base align, this is where you're hurting yourself playing defense against the RPOs, is when you base align and pass commit, it doesn't matter. The guy is probably too far out. Can't do much with the play. This guy can get to the outside. So base aligning, and if you don't pass commit, that's the thing. If you base align and don't pass commit, I think it's even worse for you, bro, to be honest with you. I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's even worse for you. You know what I'm saying? So you're seeing when to throw RPOs. If you're facing someone who's consistently doing this right here, okay? You see what they're doing? They're bringing people like this, right? This is when you throw the RPOs, bro. Don't be afraid. Throw the RPO out to the outside. Now, there's times they're going to get shedded off the block, but you're going to start scaring your opponent. He's not going to be able to baseline all the time. So there it is, man. I hope you guys appreciate the video. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more content. Love you guys, man. Peace.